Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is rolling out a new feature in Word for the Web, which now lets you preview links in the online version of Microsoft Word, which lets you interact with links in Word for the Web, which means now you can see previews of linked pages without opening the link as well as headings and bookmarks in your documents. Now, as many of you may know, um, if you are using Word for the Web currently, um, documents you review often include links to additional information such as other office files or web pages. So previously, up until this change now, if you wanted to see the contents of an embedded link, you had to open it and leave the document. So you'd have to click on that and then you would head over to the website or wherever that link is linked to. Now, this is where the change is coming. And Microsoft announced this change on the 19th of January, which was late Friday in my region. So it's relatively new and is on a controlled rollout. And Microsoft says now that by previewing a link, you get a sneak peek of its content, which helps you decide whether a link is worth opening. It also helps you access the legitimacy of links by showing relevant information, such as the URL of the web page. And then based on that information, you can then decide whether you want to leave the document you're in and review the linked information or just skip and continue with the review of the document you are in. So basically, that's the changes that this new preview links in Word for the Web is bringing compared to how it was previously. Now, how this is all going to work, uh, it's broken up into a couple of steps. And I'm just going to use a couple of screenshots from the announcement because um, this is a controlled rollout and I haven't received it yet in my region. So how this works is you open an existing Word for the Web document that contains links to external content, linked headings, and linked bookmarks. And then to preview the contents of an external link, you click the link text and notice that a preview opens, which currently is not the case. So that's the thumbnail preview showing the website logo, the link title, the URL, an image, and a description of the content it contains. And then to preview a linked heading, you click the link text and review the available information, as we can see in the screenshot provided. And then the fourth um, step in this process is to preview a linked bookmark. Click the link text and review the available information. So there we go, my bookmark. And that just gives us a general idea. Now, the requirements for this all to work is to be able to use this feature. You must enable connected experiences. And how you do this is if you are in your Word document, you head to your file, you head down to about and privacy settings, and then you select the enable optional connected experiences checkbox. Now, I haven't received it yet because it's still on a controlled rollout. So basically, just to review that again, you head to your file in your document, head down to about, and yeah, you should see um, privacy settings, and then you select the enable optional content, sorry, connected experiences checkbox, and that means then that you will enable that feature. So you need to do that for this to work when it gets to your region. And uh, Microsoft says this feature is currently rolling out to all Word for the Web users. So that means um, if you are signed up to a subscription or if you're like me and using the free version. So go check it out. Maybe it's arrived in your region. Maybe not, but it is rolling out using a controlled rollout. And as mentioned, that's that new preview links in Word for the Web. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.